Okay guys, we're gonna review Dunlop tennis balls today. For me, they're the best balls out there in terms of the most premium ball and the durability aspects of each ball, okay? So we're gonna take you through the testing of each player today and how they felt the balls differ and the qualities of each ball, okay? So Kenzo, you've got the ATP ball in your hand. Let's talk about the speed of that ball, first of all. How did it feel fresh out the can? Uh, yeah, I thought these were pretty quick. Um, I think they bounce through the court really well, very lively. Um, yeah, quicker than the others. And then, so you said quicker than the others. How do they compare then? Aussie Open first. Um, yeah, I felt for me the bounce was a little bit, um, a little bit higher. They came through a little bit quicker um, in terms of once it left the ground, it was kind of like pushing me back a little bit more. Mm -hmm. than what this would do. Um, these ones on the end were the lowest bouncing. Thing. Yeah. Not okay. And George, you play a lot of tournament tennis. You see these balls on the circuits you play. Would you kind of back up that sentiment? Yeah, I think so. I think the ATP balls are definitely a bit bouncy off the court and they get a lot of spin and they react off the court very well. I think the Aussie Opens are quite quick straight away, but I think they do fluff up a bit quicker than the ATPs. And then I think these ones, yeah, a little bit softer, so I think they stay a little bit lower. So, Aidan, talk to us about the ATP Championships. Do they have the same feel as these balls or do they have different qualities? So I'd say that those balls, they are really like lively and they're like really nice to play with. But these, my coach uses these balls and I play with these balls a lot and I'd say that they last very, very long. Okay, so we've got maybe the more durability aspect of this ball. And then you say, would you guys agree that this is the most lively ball, the ATP in terms of the feel we put on the ball? Say if you're hitting drop shots, adding spin to the ball, does that translate that that's your favourite ball to do that with, the ATP? Uh, I think so. I think that's pretty... Yeah, you can definitely get more spin with it. I would say for touch, personally, I think the Aussie Open's a little okay. bit better, a little bit softer, a bit easier to have a bit more feel on the ball for me. And guys, let's talk about speed then. It's fresh out the can, first of all, OK? Which is the quickest ball, Kenzo? What do you think? Um, I'd say it's between these two, um, mm -hmm. but I think I would go with this one. As the quickest. What do you reckon? Yeah, I would agree. I think the ATP is the quickest out of the count. And then after a set, say you're, say you're in a third set, match of your life, which ball has stayed the freshest? Which ball do you trust the most? Uh, for me, I'd say the ATP again, I think. I think it's very durable and it keeps its uh, firmness and its speed. Yeah. So I guess the ATP Championships, if you're training a lot, you've got that durability aspect, maybe more for the club player looking for that value for money ball yeah. going out there. The Aussie Opens is actually at a lesser price point, interestingly, than the ATPs. Would you say it's still up there as a premium match ball? Yeah, I think both these are great match balls. I think the quality's there for both of them. I think, yeah, I couldn't tell you why the price points are different for both of them, right. to be honest. Okay, and then just lastly, you're all going out for a match. Which ball out of these three are you going to be taking? Uh, I would say these. these yep. Three. What do you reckon, George? Uh, yeah, I think the ATPs. And Aiden? I'm taking the ATPs, yeah. There you have it. So the ATP, as their most premium ball, kind of comes through. Interestingly, the Australian Open ball is still perceived as a really high quality match ball. I think the durability aspects of the ATP after that kind of two sets of playing high quality level tennis, you've still got that firmness and the quality of bounce. The ATP Championship, you've got a very good ball there, guys. So if you're a club level player, maybe not competing as much, you've got the value for money aspect there. And if you're coaching as well, you've got the durability aspect coming through there on the ATP Championships. Thanks for watching to the end of the video. Give it a like and subscribe to the channel and we can give you more videos like this we've done today.